Um, I remember when my mom and dad was alive now, they passed away in the mid-90s. Getting a flu shot for me and for them is an act of love. It's an act of love to say that I care for them, that I care for my neighbors, I care for my co-workers, that I don't want to get them sick. Because if I have COVID or if I have a flu, I'm likely going to give it to somebody else and we don't want to do that. Already, our hospitals, our healthcare system is stressed. We don't need to add a bit more, a lot more stress into the system, right? So, um, it's an essential service. It's free and it is now available. There's no excuse to wait and um, I just urge all Torontonians to come on down, whether it's to their to Metro Hall here or to the local pharmacy, just do it. Do the double jab. And you know, we saw something amazing that happened during the COVID-19. It brought Torontonians together. It was a sense of civic pride that we're gonna get everyone vaccinated. And as a result, our numbers of those that are infected and those that died were, were lower than some other cities. And let's continue that tradition. A tradition that said that together, let's build a safe, healthy city where everyone feels good and that we feel that we can protect each other. It is also a caring city. So let's show it, let's do our jobs today. Thank you. Oh, I'm delighted to turn things over to our <laughs> medical officer of health, most important person here, Dr. Ayn Devilla, to make a few remarks. And by the way, thank you for all that you do in the last couple of years, few years, because it's been really tough and you did amazingly well and brought all of us, all of us together and kept us safe. Oh my goodness, right? How do you follow that one up? Thank you very, very much for that kind introduction, Mayor Chow, and thank you to Councillor Chris Moyce for your continued leadership as our Board of Health Chair. And good afternoon, everybody. It is a pleasure to be here with you once again at one of our vaccination clinics. Uh, this has become a bit of a, a routine event for us, so it's nice to be here again this year. As Toronto's Medical Officer of Health, I am truly honored to welcome you all to Metro Hall, one of our four Toronto Public Health fixed vaccination sites that serve residents across Toronto, including in Etobicoke, North York, and Scarborough. As we've all come to experience over the last several years, we anticipate an active respiratory virus season in our communities with the circulation of COVID-19, influenza, and RSV. On the plus side, as you've just heard the mayor, we're encouraged by the number of people who are rolling up their sleeves to get vaccinated and to fight the flu and COVID-19. In fact, when we look at our data, since October 11th, in clinics just like this one, Toronto Public Health has provided an impressive, wait for it, 26,843 COVID-19 and flu vaccines. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this is pretty impressive since October 11th alone. And this is following on our vaccination efforts for priority groups including seniors, people with underlying health conditions, those who are living in, in congregate settings, and Indigenous peoples. And now, as you've just heard the mayor say, our clinics are now open to all residents to receive their updated COVID-19 vaccine and their annual flu shot. So other important news for the residents of Toronto, tomorrow, that's on November the 3rd, an additional 8,000 COVID-19 and flu vaccine appointments will open for booking. And I just want to remind everyone that the updated COVID-19 vaccine and annual flu vaccines are also available at literally hundreds of participating pharmacies across Toronto and as well at a number of physicians' offices throughout the city. 
This year's campaign, this year's Fight the Flu and COVID-19 campaign is a testament to Toronto Public Health's commitment to ensuring that all residents have access to the information they need to make informed decisions about their health. There are some posters here just behind me and you may have seen some of these posters uh, at a variety of clinics, at our partner organizations, or maybe you've come across ads on TV, on your smartphone, or in high traffic locations like Young Dundas Square. That's part and parcel of our commitment to you to make sure that you have access to the best information. On top of that, we've made it easier than ever for you to get both your COVID-19 and your annual flu vaccines. As I've mentioned, you can receive your vaccines at the same time, both vaccines at the same time, and it's at fixed site clinics like this one here today, at pharmacies or through your primary health care provider. And in particular, if you attend one of our Toronto Public Health clinics, it's just one appointment that allows you to get both vaccines that updated COVID-19 vaccine, and your annual flu shot. So how can I uh, say it any better than Mayor Chow said, other than to just strongly urge every Torontonian to get their COVID-19 and flu vaccines as soon as possible. You heard the mayor herself, and I will echo her message. It is a simple and highly effective way to protect yourself and those around you. And if I can borrow a few of Mayor Chow's words, it's a very simple way to show you care and to show some love. And goodness knows, we could all use a little more care and a little more love. So please, take that opportunity to get your vaccine. Over and above vaccines, I would encourage all residents to take all the other measures that you've grown familiar with over the last couple of years in terms of showing that care and love and taking care of your own health and the health of people around you. So in addition to vaccine, this includes things like masking, especially in crowded indoor settings, frequent hand washing, and of course, staying home when you're feeling unwell or you're not quite feeling right. Just want to let people know as well that we've made free COVID-19 tests available in more than 100 locations across the city, including Toronto Public Libraries, Civic Centres, and you'll find those tests in clinics just like this one as well. So another way to show care and love is to grab yourself a, a test kit and make sure that you use those tests uh, should you or any of your family members feel unwell. So with that, I'm going to wrap up my remarks and express gratitude to my colleagues at Toronto Public Health here in this clinic and throughout the organization. And as well, I'd like to thank all of Toronto Public Health's partners who are participating in this year's fall immunization campaign. Uh, this incredible team of professionals really puts forth really remarkable and dedicated efforts in every aspect of the campaign, and honestly, we just cannot thank them enough. So once again, I'll just encourage everyone, please take advantage of the free vaccinations show some care and love, and you're going to see us, I think we're just about to uh, demonstrate some care and love ourselves in just a moment. So thank you very, very much for your time and attention. Let's continue to work together to keep our community safe and healthy through vaccination and through other measures. Thanks very much.